Turning now to the hardest hit part of the state where snow has been falling steadily since the sun came up, the northern mountains. Here's News 13's Brittany Bade. Lizzie, a very quick transition from fall to winter for many people in northern and northeastern New Mexico. Many counties are currently dealing with at least a foot of snow on the ground. Come here. Snow, snow, and more snow. We got about 16 inches, so this is a good start to the winter. It's a wide out up in Red River where public works crews have been out all day plowing roads, creating piles about nine feet high. The streets did remain mostly empty aside from some deer out enjoying the snowfall. Now over to northeastern New Mexico, there is a similar snow dump happening. Cars are completely covered at Vermijo Park Ranch west of Raton. A sign the owners have stayed home all day, which is likely for the best as travel continues to remain dangerous at this hour. This is a look at I-25 heading through Raton. Now in Taos, the county sheriff is comparing current road conditions to trying to drive on an air hockey machine. Well, the deputies have had a lot of calls this morning for slip and slides and a few crashes. Fortunately, none of them uh, serious injuries. It's definitely a wake-up call that winter season is here. Sheriff Hogarth says there is already 20 inches on the ground at his home and the snow is still falling. He encourages people across northern New Mexico to stay home for the rest of the day as NMDOT crews try to catch up on plowing and salting the roads. Lizzie. Okay, thanks, Brittany.